Ace, you want the anchor? Come to Jesus. Don't be ashamed of Jesus, yeah. mija. Ven a Cristo Jesús. No te avergüences de Jesucristo. Jesucristo se va a avergonzar de ti. Arrepiéntete. It's okay. Okay. Judgment day is coming, people. Make sure to run away from the devil. And run to Jesus Christ. Cool. Can I share a Bible talk with you ladies about Jesus Christ? Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. You ladies have a good day, all right? All right. Repent and believe in Jesus Christ.
high school, Las Vegas, Nevada today. Don't you wanna be it's a beautiful saved? day that the Lord has made. And uh, in Romans 12, uh, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies Don't of God, you that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is the reasonable service. And do not be conformed to, to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your you mind. Need Jesus in your life, that you may you prove Jesus what is the good life, and acceptable man. and perfect will of God. So we're here at the Valley High School of Vegas, yeah. Nevada. All these uh, young ladies, young men yeah. Uh, yeah. are being taught the, to be conformed yeah. to, the, yeah. to the knowledge of this Jesus. world. So we're here to proclaim yeah. the good news. Yeah. Do not be conformed Jesus. to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may be able to prove what is the good, acceptable, hey, perfect will of God. Uh, we're he here for, for uh, to and serve the Lord and to proclaim soul. the gospel of Jesus Christ to this uh, young generation that uh, so many are just being led astray by this uh, demonic spirits of sodomite. Jesus Christ is the only Savior. But to be saved, you must be born again. He loves you. You want to live in eternal life. God bless you, brother. And you must draw near to God, and God will draw near to you. You don't know what they teach you in school. That 12 years ago, I used to go to high school. There's a lot of more worry. It wasn't that evil. But God knows what's going on in this school. But I'm sure they don't think about eternity. They don't think about Jesus. Are you guys doing today with the Lord Jesus Christ? You guys know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Time is running out. We look out to the Lord of Lords, King of Kings today. We live in the last days, children, young men, young ladies. We live in the last days. Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. You must repent of your sins and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Time is running out. Jesus loves you so much. He loves you that He gave you another day, another chance, another opportunity to come to the true saving knowledge of the Word, of His truth, of His Son, Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. God bless you, sir. But the renewing of your mind that you may be able to prove what is the good, accepted, and perfect will of God. Seek the Lord Jesus Christ today. Come to Jesus. Jesus is offering you eternal salvation. And so many reject the free gift of salvation, ladies and gentlemen. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Time is running out. God loves you so much. God loves you, ladies and gentlemen, but God hates sin. You must be reconciled back to God. You must repent of your sins, for God so loved the world that He gave His one and only begotten Son, the Lord of Lords, King of Kings, Christ Jesus, that whoever should put their faith and trust obedience in Christ Jesus alone should not perish, but have the free gift of salvation. That's right, kids. Where would you go? Where would you go when you die? Ladies and gentlemen, time is right now. We live in the end of the last days. The end is near. Be reconciled back to God today. Time is running out. For Jesus Christ did not come to condemn the world, but the world through Him might be saved. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ came to save and seek which was lost, ladies and gentlemen. We all fall short of the glory of God. There's not one righteous. That's why we need Jesus Christ. Would you give Jesus a chance to live? Come to Jesus today. Salvation is a free gift from the Lord Jesus Christ. We reconcile back to God our Father today. Are you there with Jesus? Come to the Lord of Lords, King of Kings. Do not be left behind. Do not be ashamed of the Lord Jesus Christ. For whoever is ashamed of Jesus, Jesus should be ashamed when he comes back. God bless you, sir. Well, if you are ashamed of Jesus, Jesus should be ashamed of you when he comes back. He's coming back in his glory, in the glory of his Father, in the glory of the Holy Angels. Come and swear out. We live in the last days. Let us sing. Let me seek the Lord Jesus Christ today. What have we been found? Call upon his name while he's near. God bless you, sir. Come to Jesus Christ. He's coming soon. Have a good day, sir. Come to Jesus. How you doing? Have a good day, sir. God bless you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to proclaim the good news. 
the good news of salvation, of eternal life of Jesus Christ. For there is no other name given to mankind under heaven in which we must be saved. That name is the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other way, no other truth, no other life, but only through Jesus Christ. Would you give Jesus a chance today and humble yourself? For the Bible says that pride comes before the fall. You must humble yourself before the mighty hand of God, that he may be able to raise you up in due time. Do not be ashamed of the Lord Jesus Christ, ladies and gentlemen. Come out of darkness, come into the light. For the light of the world has come into the world, but men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds are evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light and will not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed by only he who does the truth comes to the light. God bless you. Have a good day. You're welcome. Thank you. Only him that does the truth comes to the Lord Jesus Christ that his deeds may be clearly seen that they have been done in God in God Almighty. God bless you. Have a good day. Ladies and gentlemen, we are to God. We here to proclaim the good news of salvation, the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ, that you must repent and believe in the gospel. You must be born again. God is being patient with you today. God is being so patient with you today. He has blessed you with another day of life for you to come to true repentance, to the true saving knowledge of His Word, of His true saving knowledge of His Son, Jesus Christ. You must seek God and His righteousness first. We are here to proclaim the good news, things, the word of God that they don't teach you in school. Ladies and gentlemen, do not be conformed to this world, but seek the truth today. Who the Son sets free should be free indeed. Be reconciled back to God the Father, but you must repent. You must be born again. How can you be born again? For no one can see the kingdom of God unless they're born again of water and spirit. For what is of the flesh is flesh. See our mortal bodies, our bodies. We will die one day. We will have to give an account to God for everything done, whether it be good or evil. Ladies and gentlemen, for today, we are here to proclaim the good news that you must repent and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. God is being patient with you, not wishing not to perish, but as I wish you to perish, but for you to come into heaven, into his glorious kingdom. He's coming soon. God bless you. Read the Bible. Jesus Christ is coming soon. He's the way, the truth, and the life. All right? All right. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Come to Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lords, King of Kings. Time is running out. God loves you so much. God loves you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, so many reject the love of God. So many are ashamed of God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. So today I'm pleading for you, so do not be ashamed. Do not be ashamed. Do not reject the message of salvation. The message of salvation, the word of God. The truth, ladies and gentlemen, come out of darkness, come into the light, for the light of the world has come into the world, but men love darkness, because their deeds are evil, for everyone practicing evil will not come to the light, will not come to Jesus Christ, will not humble themselves, will not surrender, will not trust in Jesus Christ, ladies and gentlemen, time is running out. We're here to pray for your soul today, that you must be reconciled back to God the Father. Come to Jesus, the glorious, he's the victorious, there's no other way but Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, this education right here will not save you. You could gain all that knowledge here, but you could still end up in an ugly place. That's why we're here to proclaim the good news of salvation, that Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords, King of Kings, and he is coming soon, very soon, ladies and gentlemen. Young men, young ladies, seek the Lord today. Seek the Lord Jesus Christ. Be reconciled to God. Time is running out. Jesus loves you, buddy. Come to Jesus. Pick up a Bible. Read the Bible. Read the Bible. Repent of your sins, ladies and gentlemen. And come to the true saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, do you know the power of Satan? Come to Jesus. Repent of your sins. Which you like was perish. For foolishness is the message of the cross to those that are perishing. Foolishness is the message of salvation of Jesus Christ to those that are perishing. But for us that are saved is the power of God. That's right. People mock, people scoff, but God is mighty. Ladies and gentlemen, do not be ashamed of Jesus. Give God a chance today. Repent of your sins and turn to Jesus Christ. God loves you so much that he's being so patient with you, not wishing not to perish. But his patience is going to run out. It's going to run out pretty soon, ladies and gentlemen. So today I'm here to pray for you soon to come to the true saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Your eternity depends on it. Your eternity depends on it. Where would you go? Where would you go when you die? 
Where would you go when the fireballs start falling from the sky? Where would you go when a nuclear bomb comes and destroys this land? Where would you go, ladies and gentlemen? There's no other way. There's no other truth but Jesus Christ. Can I get your Bible track today? With the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. the Lord. It's a beautiful day that the Lord, that the Lord Jesus Christ has made. Bible track, sir. God bless you, sir. It's a beautiful day that the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. We're thankful and grateful to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, to be walking in truth and in deed, ladies and gentlemen, for we are here messengers, messengers of the Lord Jesus Christ to bring the message of salvation in truth and in deed. That God loves you, that God loves you, and that you must repent and you must be born again. Today is the day of salvation. Today, today is the day of salvation. Don't waste another day. Don't waste another moment, ladies and gentlemen. God to Jesus. Young men, young ladies, seek the Lord Jesus Christ while he may be found. Call upon his name while he's near. There's going to be a time when it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late, ladies and gentlemen. So today, if you hear the message of the cross, the message of Jesus Christ, do not harden your heart, but repent of your sins and come to your true saving knowledge of the Lord of Lords, King of Kings. For He is the glory, He is the victorious, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, and He is coming just like a thief in the night. How are you doing with Jesus? You know Jesus? Oh, praise the Lord, He's coming soon. God bless you with the Bible, okay? All right, bye-bye. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ, ladies and gentlemen. Come to, come to Jesus. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't be left behind for the wrath of God that is coming into this world. Do not be left behind. For God is so angry with the wicked every day. That's why we're here to proclaim the good news. To repent of your sins and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ today. How you guys doing? How was your day at school, guys? Good. All right, God bless you with the Bible. God to Jesus. God to Jesus. Oh, praise the Lord. It's not a lot of uh, not a kids here. So we're going to go over there with other brothers and uh, share the good news and uh, help them out over there, pass some tracks, see, see how they're doing. So have you watching this video? If you don't know Jesus Christ, I urge you, I plead for yourself, humble yourself, humble yourself, seek God and His righteousness first, seek God today, whatever you're doing, stop, stop, get on your knees and cry out to God. Cry out to God. Get on your knees and cry out to God. Fear God. Fear God. Fear God because God loves you. Fear Him because He's coming soon. And if you don't know Jesus Christ, you will be cast into eternal damnation, into the lake of fire, eternal hell, no way out. So today, if you are listening to this, repent of your sins. You must be born again. You must be born again. You must be born again. Humble yourself. For pride comes before the fall in the heart of spirit. Before destruction, ladies and gentlemen. The, the Bible says that you should repent. That you should repent and you should let words perish. And if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your hearts, but God has raised them from the dead on the third day. You should be saved. Are you a believer in Jesus Christ, young man? Conoces a Cristo Jesús? Sí. ¿Eres cristiano? Sí. No. No. Oh, necesitas a Cristo. ¿Ves la Biblia? ¿Ves la Biblia? No más va a leer la Biblia. Ok, hay que leer la Biblia. El catolicismo no es de Dios. Ok, lee la Biblia. Que Dios te bendiga. Hay que leer la Biblia con sus hijos. Porque Dios viene pronto y Él no quiere que nadie se eche a perder. Que Dios los bendiga. Don't be ashamed of Jesus. Well, if you're ashamed of Jesus, Jesus should be ashamed of you. He's coming soon. Heaven or hell, where would you go, man?
God bless you. Have a good day. Jesus is coming soon. God said, Run to me if I stop preaching the gospel. And I say the same thing by the same spirit, by spirit of the Holy Ghost, Run to me if I stop preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Today is a change. Today is a good day. Today is a good news. Tomorrow is not promised. We're not too young to die. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ and have an eternal life in heaven rather than an eternal prudence. Nothing is worth it to go to hell for eternity. After death, your real life will start. Heaven or hell. Jesus Christ is the only Savior. Repent and obey Jesus. Repent and follow Jesus. Repent and trust Jesus. Repent and read the Holy Bible. Time is too short. The Holy Bible, the Holy Bible teaches you the truth. The Word of God is like the truth. I got your Bible try to read. That Satan cannot handle it. Satan's will be required. Father preaches about Jesus Christ. Que Dios los bendiga. Cristo Jesús viene pronto. All right. A que le la vida con los niños. Que God bless. Satan's will be required. Religion is about the only way to heaven, it's about eternity. Oh, you guys have good kids? Have a good day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Bible Tribe. God bless you. Have a good day, guys. How are you guys doing? You guys like a Bible Tribe today? Come to Jesus Christ. Huh? Do you guys accept gays? For me? Yes. Gay is an abomination against God. You must repent of your sins and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Because God is angry with the wicked every day and the wicked should turn into hell. Read, read the word of God. Read the word of God. Seek the Lord Jesus Christ. What's the problem? It's an abomination. God made male and female. Because God made male and female. And sex is for marriage. Yes. He made male, so why can't I put another male? For female. Why can't I put another male? Because that's against God. If God says, come as you are, if you're born gay, then what are you supposed to do? No, nobody's born gay. Nobody's born gay. God loved everybody. That's a lie of the devil. Were you born having sex as a baby, as an infant? No, no. No, no, right. Were you born having sex with a woman? Huh? Were you born having sex with a woman? No, I don't have sex with women. So why can't I love him? You could love them by sex outside of marriage, and sex in the uh, in the same uh, in the same sex is against God. Why? Why? Because God doesn't approve with that. God made male and female for each other to multiply, to multiply. Repent of your sins, young man. Repent, or you should like was perish. The Bible says that the wages of sin is dead, and the gift of God is eternal life. Don't walk away. Come to Jesus. Seek the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't walk away. Pick up a Bible today. Nothing is worth it to go to hell. Hell is eternal. This life is too short than hell, and heaven is eternal. Accept Christ and be saved. Trust Jesus and be saved. Repent and pray to Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Don't miss this opportunity. It might be the last time you're going to hear the message of the gospel. The message of Jesus Christ will save you from hell. The message of Jesus Christ. When you are the day, can save you from the distraction, out of our Satan, can be sports, can be education, can be religion, whatever distraction from Jesus Christ, out of our Satan. Repent today, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Jesus Christ. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Time is running out. Trust in the Lord. Repent. Jesus loves you. Obey your trust. 
prayer to him. He will love to him. Jesus saves when you repent and obey him. Jesus saves when you repent and obey the Holy Bible. Other than that, there is a price to pay in hell. And whoever goes in hell stays in hell. Just like whoever goes in heaven stays in hell forever. Turn to Jesus. Jesus coming back soon. Repent and obey Jesus. Jesus is only Savior. Jesus is only hope. Come to Christ. And the angels of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent and obey the Holy Bible. Repent and follow Christ. After death is a judgment. After death, we are all going to stand for the Lord Jesus Christ face to face. Are you born again? Are you washed by the blood of Jesus? What going to happen to your soul a second after you die? Guys, all these music classes, all these sports, Everything is distraction by the power of Satan. When you receive Jesus Christ, when you repent and obey Him, when you keep the Holy Bible and obey Him, fear Him and having a relationship with Him, the Bible says perfect love casts out fear. When you live in right. the perfect love with Jesus, there is no reason to fear Him. But if you live in sin and you don't fear God, that's a scary, scary eternal lake of fire. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Repent the name of the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, and you will be saved. Time is too short. Tomorrow is not promised, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Jesus Christ is the only Savior, but you must repent and obey Him. Man is the real place. Accept Jesus and be saved. Repent and obey Jesus and be saved. Trust Jesus Christ and obey the Holy Bible, and you will be saved. I'm not wasting my time. Have you heard the message? Oh, Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. How's your heart, sir? The Lord rebukes you in the name of Jesus. You have no power, Satan. You have no power, Satan. You have no power, Satan. Shame on you, Satan. The Lord rebukes you in the name of Jesus. You die today, you go straight to hell. Honestly, you're paying attention. Satan laughing at you, man. Satan hates you. Satan wants you burn in hell. Satan set you up. Satan set you up. Satan hates you, man. Satan even believes in Jesus and he's tripling. Even Satan believes in hell and he's tripling. Even Satan believes in Jesus and he's tripling. Satan is nothing, man. We are destroyed by Satan. Satan is a loser. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ before you're too late. Repent and believe in Jesus before you're too late. Nothing is worth it to burning in hell for the rest of eternity. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ coming back to pray to judge you. Wake up. How you doing, buddy? Pray to Jesus. How is your day at school? Have a good day. Have a good grades. Can I get your Bible track? Can I get your Bible track about the Lord Jesus Christ? Is the Bible track, do you know Jesus? Have you, have you heard about Jesus Christ? Yeah, are you a Christian? You go to church? Yeah, what church you go to? Accept the Lord Jesus Christ today. There is only one God. There is only one Savior. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. Eternal salvation through Jesus Christ is coming soon. We must repent of our sins because He's coming. Heaven is for real and hell is for real. And God doesn't want nobody to go to hell. But for everybody, read the Bible and repent to be born again. So we must read the Bible because the end of days is almost here, the end of the world. Have you heard about that? Have you heard about we live in the last days? This world might be destroyed. So we need Jesus Christ to come into heaven. We must repent and believe in Jesus because He loves you. And He doesn't wish you to go to hell, but He wants you to come to heaven. He created you. He gave you life. And He wants to give it to you more abundantly. More abundantly. Share this with your family and tell them about Jesus, okay? Yeah, right, buddy, I'm Frank, okay? God bless you, okay? Jesus coming soon. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And there's no other way but Jesus, alright? Alright, right, buddy. God bless you. Have a good day. Alright. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Repent and obey the Holy Bible. Jesus saves. Hell is real. Heaven is real. Eternity. Come to Christ before we too late. Repent and obey Jesus before we too late.
Want to Jesus to be saved. Want to Jesus. Want to Jesus. Want to Jesus. Want to Jesus. Want to Jesus to be saved. Want to Jesus to be saved. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for giving us the opportunity. Thank you for guiding us here to this high school, Father God. Thank you, Father God. We just pray for the souls, Father God, those that receive tracks, Father God, that uh, you do a miracle, Father God, that uh, it will open the eyes and hearts, Father God, to the truth, Father God, that they be willing to surrender, repent, and commit their lives to follow after you and trust in you, Father God. Not trust in this world or this school or the knowledge they receive here, Father God, for so many receive knowledge of the world in the schools, Father God, and your name is not even allowed to mention in the schools, Father God. That's wicked, Father God. We just pray that you will set them free from bondage, from the traps of Satan, Father God, of, 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 uh, that is showing so many in these last days, Father God. Thank you, Father God. We praise you and give you glory. And those that rejected your, your gospel, your word, your truth, Father God, we also pray for them, Father God. Bless them, Father God. Bless them, Father God. Terrify them in, in a nightmare, Father God. At night, terrify them, Father God. That they will submit, submit to you, Father God, and surrender to you, Father God. That they will acknowledge that Satan is real right. and that Satan is destroying them right. and that Satan it's a liar and he's a deceiver and he is the outer of confusion but you are the outer of perfection Father God I just pray for the souls Father God in this course that you would do mighty miracles and that you will use those Christians that are in this course Father God if there's any that you will use them for them to proclaim the good news of your salvation, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for Kusha. Thank you for Ace. Thank you, Father God, for the boldness that you have given them. In Jesus' name. Run to Jesus. He's coming very soon. Run to the Lord Jesus Christ. Seek the Lord Jesus Christ. For foolishness is the message of the cross. Foolishness. Satan is a moron. Satan is a loser, and God is good all the time, all the time. As a true disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ, now willing not to perish, but for all to come to the true saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Brother Ace, for your commitment to serve the Lord. Thank you, Brother. Praise the Lord in Jesus' name.